Okay, how we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. My company is Crystal Edge Technology Screens. Uh, we did a live paint on demonstration on Facebook. We painted a gunmetal screen uh, on our fixed frame screen over here. So, uh, just showing off how amazing the Phantom technology is. And this is a free color option from our company. Now, the Phantom has uh, three colors. It comes in black, it comes in the deep red, and it comes in the gunmetal black slate, which you're seeing displayed right here. We're using this on our Christie uh, LW401 projector at only 720p in a fully lit environment. And as I said down here, in this particular zone, meters don't pick up. So we have the Lux meter right there on the floor. I'm going to show you exactly um, how crazy the light is in, in this environment. Uh, keep in mind, like I said, the meter is picking up at one point, at one point, which basically shows that the meter has maxed out. All right, so I'm going to turn my fan off here for a minute because we don't need to have it on. The screen will pretty much dry the rest of the way by itself because we just finished this demonstration. If you're interested in watching the paint on demonstration, uh, I'll put a link below. We can actually log into our Facebook fan page under Crystal Edge Technology Screens and you'll get a chance to see the paint on demonstration live. But as you can see how much light we have in the environment, I also have a white screen behind there for testing also too, but also too to be to kick in more light. So let me show you what our meter is picking up. This is the meter we have on the floor. This is Dr. Meter. And as you can see, we are not picking up anything at all. The meter is coming up as um, 0.01. That's when the meter maxes out. I'm going to take my hand. I'm going to cover over the meter. So you can see if my hand's covered up, we can get a reading. If I remove my hand, it maxes out. I'm going to do it again for you. Cover it up with my hand. So you can see us getting a reading because it's uh, the meter is picking up something because it's not taking on all the light. And then I'll remove it and we're maxed out again, as you can see. So, I think I'm on my remote control somewhere in my pocket. Yeah, it's in my pocket. Is it in my pocket? Yeah, it's in my pocket. Sorry about that. The control's in my pocket the entire time. Let's go back here and see if we missed any areas there. There we go. Remote control's in my pocket the entire time. I was wondering why the screen was looking like that. But anyway, as I said before, I'm going to be doing demonstrations down here for now on um, because I used to use them in the living room. The living room's meter readings can come in between 14, 15, sometimes 18, but down here we get an automatic max out. And the beautiful thing about it is if I want to test the screen, so right in the backyard, I can throw them out in the backyard, hit them with the projector and be done. And instead of lugging them back and forth, up and down the stairs, they're already down here and that makes it a lot easier for me. So let me come over and show you the angle gain under these massive lights. Now as you see, we have more ambient light in this environment than, more, and than any video I've seen so far online. speakers out of the way so that way we can give you that ambient light now I've moved my projector back a little bit farther we are now at around about 13 feet so I'm gonna measure out this area in here about 13 feet I got my projector pushed all the way to the back so we're at 13 feet back and that's the angle gain under all that light I'll leave that there for a minute. So where my projector is sitting, we are around 12 feet. Let me pull this out for a minute. 
We are around from here, from where the screen hits at, from all the way over to here. There we are, 12 feet from the screen. That's where we're landing at, 12 feet. So 12 feet, that's where we're hitting at. With this much light, and as you can see, the meter is not even picking up. It is absolutely shut down. Come over here for a minute, change my angle over here. Because what I was looking at, when I was doing the demonstration, I was looking at how much light chilly in here heats up in here sometimes it's so hot down here so i was looking at the meter i was thinking why am i doing demonstrations upstairs when i got 10 times more light downstairs i mean meters don't pick up down here if they do pick up we get about 1900 if one picks up down here but usually like i said we're at the mark at around somewhere around uh 1900 to max out and this is the best place to do these demonstrations these test demonstrations at and on top of that, we're a short distance from the backyard, which means I can take this outside, I can do some demonstrations off that. And instead of lugging it back and forth all day long, you know, from one area to the next, I got areas so where I can hang the screen up outside. Instead of bringing it up and down the stairs and hanging it upstairs in my, um, in my living room or my theater room. Outer space screen savers. I can't wait to get the black screen down here. And this is also using the contrast shifting technology we bit into the screen. The screen's still a little wet, as you can see. We have the lines for that. Lines so that means the screen is still a little wet. This is using our um, contrast shifting technology, uh, color enhancement technology, and also to using the heightener and whitener technology. This is what a maxed out Lux meter. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. LG Beta Fish.
4K snow screen savers. Amazing the white levels are. Now we turn in the environment. So we got around 12 feet from the screen. Make sure we get 12 feet from the screen. And our meter is maxed out. Four K demonstrations. Getting that from I never realized when I was doing test demonstrations down here that the lights were that bright down here, you know? Until I got the meter down, like the meters don't pick up down here. They have a hard time registering down here. And like I said, as you can see, no extra lights in the environment at all. And the tests I've seen, you know, people are using calibrated projectors, which you should not be using a demonstration of calibrated projectors, because that means you're enhancing your color. That means you're cheating. And even with the enhancements, the screen looks bad. I've seen a lot of demonstrations where even with a uh, uh, calibrated projector, the screen, the color levels and contrast were absolutely horrible. And this is without any extra lights in the environment. Go back a little bit on that one. That's why I don't like doing demonstrations on ultra short throws all that much because, like I said, the challenge isn't there due to the fact that the, the distance throw is so short. If you can't pick up on a distance throw that short, there's going to be problems at the end of the day. You're not going to be able to pick up on anything. I want to look at that contrast up on that horse. But all the time doing demonstrations down here, never thought the meters would max out down here. And keep in mind, by the time we make it from A to B, our, we no longer have the 4,000 lumens. My projector is 4,000 lumens. We no longer have the 4,000 lumens that my projector started off with. We don't have that anymore. That's done and gone. Uh, we're probably somewhere, we probably could be, we're probably a lot less than that. 
a lot less than that. We're probably somewhere maybe about a thousand lumens or more, maybe a thousand, fifteen hundred, maybe at the most. Yeah, because due to the fact that, you know, our meter is maxed out, we have that much light down here. I'm gonna see something for a minute. If I were to take the gray screen, the gray screens are not gonna pick up on this at all. They didn't, they, they had a horrible time. The white screen had a horrible time picking up down here. Right there, that's Pro's personal mix, right there. This is the Metallica mix. And this is the Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. Let's see, we'll have to put that one down here, it's still way over here. Really quick. Red screen. Getting that from YouTube. Yeah, see I told you that the light gray mixes, those gray mixes don't pick up, even if it's mid-gray because the, um, I said before that the um, Metallica mix is a little darker, and but still it, it can't pick up with this much light in the environment. It can't even pick up, we put it in the dark and I'm showing you the difference between now the Digital One Crystal Screen Paint and our new technology versus our old technology. As I said before, it's not gonna be the match of technology anyway whatsoever, but like I said, at the end of the day, you know, if that's what you're satisfied with, um, at, least, at least it's free. The color blue, screen. Getting that from YouTube. See, that's not gonna pick up at all, period. I love to learn about everything. Maybe we share an interest in once. And you see how bright our technology is able to produce those really nice high levels and still maintain beautiful color at the same time. Where the other screens are just washing out. Starfield screen saver. Getting that from YouTube. And we'll check out the contrast, which we know contrast is not working out too well for these screens. See, you can't see contrast either. And 
the screen maintains a very high and very beautiful white level for technology this dark. So I just wanted to see that real quick. That's why I tell you that, you know, this is an old product we used to make back in the day. We don't make it anymore. And, but, you know, like I said, it's been tested, retested, and, you know, it's filled with companies and it's been with beta testers. And as you can see, you know, like I said, it holds more weight than the other product on the market or the product that's being sold. You know, that one has been tested and it's been around. And that one we give away for free because we don't make it anymore. Compared to our technology, it would never match up because this is the new technology. But as you can see, um, our product is, uh, the one we have here, our gun metals, uh, um, Phantoms and Phoenixes are much more and more advanced than the uh, screen paints we have here. I just want to show you that real quick. Um, I'm going to pop back over to uh, here top for just a minute because I want to make sure this video is not too long. At 21. It's a nice and bright environment. No extra lights added in. All we need is that one light over top, and we're maxing out on our meter. Something that gray screen paint products cannot and will not do. Alright, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm liking the new work area because, man, it is nice and bright down here. Yeah, I, when I first saw the meter, like I said, I've seen the meter a few times, uh, max out down here, and I thought to myself, this would be a perfect place for doing demonstrations because this is now the brightest area that we're working at besides outside, and I freaking love it. Alright, with that being said, I'm going to play a little bit of this real quick to so show you how amazing this is. No color washout. No fading. We don't have to calibrate the projector. We don't need expensive, high-powered, expensive projectors. There's my projector right there. They're pretty cheap on eBay. And as we see, we can maintain a beautiful image without the worries of the screen washing out. And on top of that, with a maxed out meter reading, without any extra lights in the environment at all. No extra lights needed. All right, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you for your time. I have to go and God bless.